The purpose of this presentation is to review the State of Florida's Bright Future Scholarship Program. I will cover the eligibility requirements, application process, and more importantly, how much does it pay. To be eligible for Bright Futures, you must be a Florida resident and a United States citizen or an eligible non-citizen. Your senior year, you will complete the Florida Financial Aid Application, the FFAA. This is the application for Florida-based grants and scholarships. It's not to be confused with the FAFSA. You must also earn your Florida High School Diploma and not be charged with a felony. You need to be accepted and enroll in a deg degree or certificate program within the first two years after graduation. There are four types of scholarship awards. Number one, the Florida Academic Scholar, the FAS. Number two, the Florida Medallion Scholar, FMS. Number three, the Florida Gold Silk Vocational Scholar, GSV. And number four, Florida Gold Silk Cape Scholar. All scholarships are based upon GPA, community service hours, ACT, SAT, or PERT scores, and or vocational track. The Florida Academic Scholars Award. Students must take the following core classes. Four credits of English, four credits of math, three credits of natural science, three credits of social science. This should look familiar, guys. This is also your graduation requirements for the state of Florida. Additionally, you must also take two credits of a foreign language. Students must also maintain a 3.5 GPA in these core classes. Students must learn, earn a composite score of a 29 on the ACT or a 1330 on the SAT. Additionally, you must also earn 100 hours of community service. So how does it work and how much will the FAS pay out? If you look at the top box under institution type, four year, the cost per credit hour is $211. So what does that mean, Ms. Obert? Look to the right hand for the example. We're going to utilize Florida State, or FSU, no offense to my Gator fans. Currently, it costs $216 per credit hour for a student to attend. Typically, you're enrolled in 12 credit hours. So if you multiply that times 216, you get $2,592. Bright Futures will pay $2,532. That's taking the 12 credit hours times the $211 that FAS will pay, and your difference of tuition is $60. This is in addition to a $300 stipend that you get for that semester. So pretty nice. The Florida Medallion Scholar Award, or FMS. The cores are the same as the Academic Scholar Award. Four credits of English, four credits of math, three credits of natural science, three credits of social science, and two foreign language. However, the GPA, ACT, and community service hours differ. For the GPA, you need to maintain a 3.0 in your core classes. That's a B average. You also need to earn a 25 composite or super score on ACT or a 1210 on the SAT. 75 hours are required for community service. So how will FMS pay out? Again, we're going to use our example of the four-year institution. FMS per credit hour will pay $158. So if we go along with our FSU example, FSU pays $216 per credit hour. So if you remember in our previous slide, students enrolled in 12 credit hours times 216 would have to pay $2,592. Because the FMS will pay $158 per credit hour, we're going to multiply that times 12 to get $1,896. The difference of tuition is now $696 or the PERT exam. Listed below, you can see the table 
denoting the requirements. For the ACT, you must have a 19 in reading, a 17 in English, and a 19 in math. The SAT, a 24 in reading, a 25 in English, and a 24 in math. And PERT, a 106 in reading, a 103 in English, and a 114 in math. The Gold Seal Vocational and the Gold Seal CAPE Award amounts vary based upon whether the college is on semester, quarter, or clock hour terms. The awards also vary based upon the type of programs, whether it's career certificate, applied technology diplomas, technical degree education programs, or bachelors of science or applied science. Here are some helpful tips. Everyone should work towards the Florida Academic or Medallion Award because it pays more. But as a backup, you can also take the three vocational course sequences. That way, if you don't qualify through ACT or SAT, but you do for the Gold Seal Vocational, you again, you have that as a backup. Begin taking the ACT or SAT in 10th grade. Do not wait until your senior year to try to get the composite score that you need. Begin in 10th grade, that way you have two full years to try to obtain the necessary scores. And last but certainly not least, start earning your community service hours now. Don't wait until your senior year whenever you're full of stress, you're probably working a job or participating in an extracurricular activity trying to apply for colleges and scholarships to wait to earn your community service hours. You don't want that added stress. So again, there's community service forms available on our website and in the front office. Get a form now. Frequently asked questions. Do I compete with other students in the state of Florida? No. Bright Futures is unlike other scholarships. If you meet the requirements, you earn it. There's no competition or nominations. You earn it. When do I need to complete the FFA application? I will assist you with the application your senior year. The application opens up in October and I start pulling students in October and November to complete. Can I utilize the scholarship out of state? No, this is a Florida-based scholarship and can only be utilized in state. Community service. Is it my responsibility to keep up with it? Yes, it is absolutely, it is your responsibility. Community service forms are available in the front office and on our school's website. Once you complete a form, make a copy of the form and turn it into the front office as you earn it. What if I do not plan to enroll in a college right away? Will I lose my scholarship? No, you have two years to use it or lose it. The reinstatement application must be completed online in order for you to utilize it the third year. I hope this presentation helped you learn just a little bit more about the Florida Bright Futures Scholarship Program. If you still have questions, visit our website at fhs.walton.k12.fl.us or you can contact me at obertj.walton.k12.fl.us. Thank you.